Hi, welcome to the Inside All vlog number three. I covered the overview and the who about me in the first two vlogs, so if you're interested in those, you'll have to go back. Today, I'm going to attempt to cover the what. And since there's so much that goes into this new kit, I'll have to break it down into about two or three vlogs. Today, I'm going to focus on the active wear and cycling jerseys, as the same fabric technology is used across those items. These are all made with between 75 and 100% recycled PET or recycled plastic bottles, with the remainder being Lycra and Spandex for stretch and comfort. And those plastic bottles are broken down and then reformed into polyester yarn. So what we're working with here really is just polyester. It's essentially the same as all your other technical apparel that you're probably already using, only made better from post-consumer recycled plastic. What most people don't realize is that the beauty of PET is that it can be broken down and reformed virtually infinite times with no degradation in quality or performance. So what you're getting is identical materials, but instead of mining oil out of the ground and turning it into plastic, you're actually saving plastic going into landfill or the ocean. What's more is the process to turn those bottles into polyester takes only three steps of manufacturing, whereas the process to turn oil into polyester takes nine steps in manufacturing. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. There's still so much more about all garments that I really want to share with you, and the best is yet to come. But for now, let's move on to this week's reveal. Men's Or Cafe Pro Cycling Jersey in Boardroom Blue Check with four-way stretch fabric and 3D cut anatomical fit. Progress report. There's been delays getting fabric from the US, which has meant that manufacturing the prototypes has taken longer than expected. That has caused a roll-on effect delaying the product photography by up to a month. The prototypes should arrive in Australia in about the next two to three weeks. After that, we should be able to push them out to product testers, reviewers, and our athletes. I had to shuffle the calendar around a little bit, do the photography and the video shoot a little bit later than I'd intended, but I'm still confident that everything will be on track for a launch in July. This week's tip is for you if you're a cyclist. If you ever have an old inner tube lying around, Cut a section out about this long and put your multi tool inside. That way, the inner tube, the old inner tube, protects the multi tool sharp edges from damaging your other spares inside your saddlebag. No questions this week? If you'd like to ask me something, you can email me at tim at and I'll answer you in next week's vlog. Thanks for watching.